Today's lesson deals with the concepts of augmentation and diminution. When we talk about augmentation, we're talking about making the rhythm values of the notes longer, and conversely, diminution, we're going to be making the notes shorter. What we want to do when we do this is that we're going to preserve the pattern of long and short notes. And to do that, we need to use a consistent ratio of conversion. And for our class, that's always going to be either a 1 to 2 ratio or a 2 to 1 ratio. That means that we're going to be either doubling the length of each note or cutting each note's value in half. Changing the meter when you do that is optional, and I'll show you a couple examples of how that turns out. Starting with augmentation. Augmentation means we're going to be making the note values longer. And we could do any sort of thing with that, but we're going to make it so that the note values are doubled. So that means when you've got a quarter note, that's going to turn into a half note. Obviously a one count note turning into a two count note. Or if you've got an eighth note, that would be doubled up to a quarter note. You can see that the conversion is really easy if you follow the um, note value pyramids that we looked at in class. Also, if you wanted to change the meter, you could go from 2-4 to 4-4, and that would preserve the same number of measures. So here's a little example of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We're starting in 2-4 time with eighth notes and quarter notes. If we were to double the value of that, that would make the notes uh, twice as long, so that would be quarter notes and half notes. Um, and you'll see that, that I changed the meter to 4-4 time so that each measure lines up. Here's an example of London Bridge, kind of a variation of London Bridge. And again, we're in 2-4 time, eighth notes, quarter notes, and some sixteenth notes. If we were to double those values, the dotted eighth note now becomes a dotted quarter note. The sixteenth notes become eighth notes. And actually, I screwed up one measure in there. I missed that. And the uh, eighth notes become quarter notes. I'm not sure if I said that. Quarter notes become half notes. And notice in this example, I kept the 2-4 meter and we've got now got eight measures of music instead of four. If I were to change the meter to 4-4 four, four time you can see that that preserves the four measures and those ratios there. Diminution is the, just the opposite. When we talk about that we're going to be cutting each note value in half. So that means that a quarter note now will become an eighth note, an eighth note will become a sixteenth note, etc, etc. Um, and you can again, you can change the meter by cutting the meter in half. Uh, here's a little gotier, uh, starting with quarter notes and eighth notes in 4-4 time. We would change those to eighth notes and sixteenth notes, and that actually would be performed probably twice as fast. And you'll notice that the first example being in 4-4 uh, is four measures, and then in the second example it's two measures. If we wanted to change the meter to 2-4 to reflect that, then we'd be back to four measures. Again, that's not as important as getting the note values properly converted. Uh, here's another kind of version, uh, kind of a uh, different version of a German folk song in 3-4 time. So we know that we're going to take that dotted quarter note, make it into a dotted eighth note, eighth note into sixteenth note, and quarter note into a regular eighth note. Now I changed the meter here to 3-8 so that you would have the same amount of measures. And you can see that in 3-8 I uh, beamed all those notes together. That's um, probably the clearest way of doing that. Um, another way of writing that would have been to switch to 6-8 um, so that each measure at the top there, uh, each uh, couplet of measures, two measures becomes one measure. 1 and a 2 e and a 1 and a 2 and a. So that's just an option. So that gives you a brief overview of augmentation and diminution. And again, the ratio we're using is just a 2 to 1. We're either doubling or cutting in half.